Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing the budget guide of Brachium. Uh, I did the fast version earlier, this is going to be the budget way. Uh, we're not using any trust masteries and we're not using any um, rainbow units, except for stuff that was given for free from raids. Uh, so the team is going to be Snow, and he's on Odin, that is important. Odin with finger snap learned. Uh, but he's got some innate provoke gear, balloon, jacket, plushie. Other than that, he's got some spirits we can survive in phase two. Brutus of the Earth is enhanced. He's got a lot of defense gear and some spirit as well. And he's immune to sleep, which is kind of important. Rosa has got lots of spirit, so she can do her, um, uh, what's it called? Her blessed plus two for mana regen. Uh, Timothy is going to be our breaker. Now he's got some auto limit with bomb spirit prodigy goggles, and he's on carbuncle for more auto limit. That lets him do his limit burst off really often, which is helpful. Oh, and he's got enough spirit and hit points to survive in phase two, which is challenging for Timothy, but it can be done. Uh, Garnet is going to be our summoner. She's going to be doing the Esper Gate. She's got Cradle of Horns to help out with some tanking, etc. Radio is only for the Esper mission at the end. She's got some Evo magic and headband for the finisher with a bayonet. Uh, Sarah is going to be a evasion for the threshold attacks in phase one. <clears throat> Shantoto is going to be chaining wind later. She's not her gear is not important. Same thing for Alexa. And Victoria is our our main damage dealer. She's got the glory of evil, the wizard rod, etc. Just a lot of magic and some man eater. And she's on Diablos for even more man eater. Uh, so the missions are do it within 30 turns, summon three espers, and finish with a esper. I'm hoping to get all the missions with the budget run. We might not get 30 turns. We'll find out. But it should be all right. So the boss is going to ambush us for the initial attack. It's going to kill Snow because we got the passive provoke. And he's going to put a dodge buff on himself. We don't really care about the dodge buff because we were using magical team for the beginning. But I mean, we're going to remove it anyway, though. Because we want some extra crystals from counterattacks. Uh, so we're going to dual white. We're going to go ahead and full life on Snow and dispel go that dodge buff off the boss. Garnet's going to prayer to the Eidolons. No, he's going to charge to the Cradle of Horns. But let's get Snow back up first. Alright, Cradle of Horns for the turn one. Because the boss of them doesn't have a good breakup yet. So we're going to use an attack break on Timothy. And it's not quite as good as his limit burst, which is not filled. So this is going to hurt a little bit. Now, Brutus of the Earth is not using dodge gear. That miss you saw was because he's using Rico's wingsuit. It died just one attack in the fight. But that's the only time we're ever going to see that go off. <laughs> Alright, so Snow is going to go ahead and... Um, we're going to just punch with these two. Hopefully you get some crystals on Garnet. Oh, we didn't. That's unfortunate. That's fine. So we'll just cure with Timothy. And we'll bless with Rosa. That's not bless. That's bless. And Garnet will prayer to the Eidolons. Hoping to get some Esper Crystals on Garnet. There we go, we got it. Outstanding. So we summon with Garnet. Uh, we're going to go ahead and block Shimi with um, Rosa for the first Esper. And we'll go ahead and let's finger snap with Snow. And break the attack again. And we will Guardian with Fruits of the Earth. Ooh, painful. Should have guarded. I should have guarded with Fruits of the Earth. Guarded, not Guardian. <laughs> it's fine, though. Come on, give me some more Esper Crystals. Uh, so let's finger snap those buffs the boss put on himself. Now we're going to limit break with Timothy. We'll guard with Freitas. 
and we'll go ahead and dual white to heal Brutus even more. Garnet with prayer to the Eidolons. Alright, hopefully we get some um, enough Esper Crystals for Garnet, although the boss did put his Blink buff up, so he's going to dodge a lot of the counter attacks. It's going to deny us some crystals, unfortunately. Not too big a deal. Yeah, it sucks, but whatever. Alright, so what is full life snow? Breedus will put up Guardian again. Uh, I guess Garnet's got a prayer, because we can't use her limit. And what is punch with Timothy? For crystals. Now, if we can get um, some extra crystals from counterattacks, that'd be great. Hmm, not quite. We're gonna go ahead and bring Victoria. I think we're, I think we're gonna get some. We're gonna get some crystals from just plain old drops pretty soon. Uh, let's punch with snow. Timothy will imperil fire. Victoria will. Dual cast by Rage to get that stacking beginning. I uh, will guard Rudus and we'll put up a Bless. There's a crystal. Alright, I'm pretty sure we'll get some more crystals from um, drops in a moment. There we go. Alright, so the boss is... Yeah, outstanding. Alright, so we're going to dual black by Rager. Okay. Next turn we'll push the threshold. Uh, we don't need anything on anyone, so we'll just... Guardian and Guard. Timothy will break the attack again. I don't think it's going to wear off anytime soon, but just in case. And we'll bless. Now, I'm not using Lakshmi quite yet, because we're going to use an Esper next turn. Instead. <laughs> Painful. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get Garnet in. We're going to refresh the good break with Timothy. I think it wore off anyway. It did. Tinkle trick. Uh, we're going to summon our second Esper. Which is going to be Carbuncle. Now we're going to target ourselves and fire Rage only once now. And that's going to bounce off five times and hit the boss five times. Boom. A lot of damage. Alright, so Snow will go ahead and punch, and Rose will just cast Bless again. So this is going to be a Threshold. This is going to be a Gravity Attack. Not a problem. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and bring Sarah in for this. First thing we're going to do with this Threshold is Punch with Snow. That's going to make sure he does a physical attack next turn. Garnet's going to Esper Gage. Timothy is going to break the boss's... Uh, well, Mischief boss. Uh, we're going to Retreat Command with Sarah. That's going to be an AoE um, dodge. And we'll dual cast some Fire Rages with Victoria. Now the boss is going to do an AoE physical this turn, and then end his turn. Okay. And now we're going to push another threshold. Uh, so we're going to... Tinkle Trick the boss again. Actually, we're going to get, we're going to get Rosa back in first. 
next we're going to Tangle Trick the boss. We're going to go ahead and prayer to the Eidolons. Punch with Snow. Rosa will bless. But the next threshold is at 70%, and we're pushing that right now. Victoria will Fire Rage. And all the threshold does is gravity damage, so we're not worried about it. There it is. Alright, comes the threshold again. It's the same thing, it's just a gravity attack. Alright, once again, it's going to be a... Um, let's get Sarah in for Garnet. Actually, let's... Oh wait, no, we need, we need Garnet. Yeah, let's do it this way. Uh, so again, we're going to punch with Snow. Timothy is going to break the boss's fire resist. We're going to go ahead and keep nuking with Victoria. Sarah is going to retreat command because it could be another physical attack. Excellent. And Garnet will go ahead and, oh, I don't know, life's army because why not? Alright, there's the threshold. Now we finally get our tank back in. Alright. Veritas. Now let's get Sarah back in. Or Rosa back in. Alright. Rosa will. Actually, for this turn, I want to get Veritas of the Earth topped off really well. We're going to bring Garnet in as well. So Garnet is going to dual cast some heals. That's not dual cast. I know I gave her dual cast. There it is. Dual cast. Some Curanga. Uh, Rosa will put Bless back up. Freedom to the Earth will Guardian. Snow will just punch. And Victoria will dual cast Black. So now we're going to place that next threshold. So for this, we're going to, uh, let's see, we're going to get Timothy in. We're going to hide Rosa. And we're going to hide our tank. We don't want the gravity to pull up the tank. Uh, actually, we've got to get the horn in. Alright, so Garnet is going to Carbuncle. Make sure I'm doing this right. Yeah, Timothy is going to Tinkle Trick. Garn is going to Carbuncle. We're going to Fire on our own team to bounce that back. Make sure that threshold gets pushed. Outstanding. What does Guard Snow and Sarah open up Retreat Command? I don't think Retreat Command is going to do anything because we're going to get um, dispelled anyway, but whatever. Alright. Here comes all the Threshold stuff. Alright, not a, not a problem, not a problem. So let's get him back. Let's get him back. Uh, so the boss does AoEs on odd turns, so even turns were okay. Oh, I should have hit Timothy too. Whoops. Now ah, whatever. Uh, so we're gonna have the Isuniga and heal. Alright, so we're going to incinerating press with Freedus of the Earth. Uh, we don't need to imperil fire anymore because the boss has a permanent fire imperil. 
We're just going to guard Timothy, and Victoria is going to continue dealing damage. Okay, so that 999 attack you saw is going to happen uh, every few turns on snow. But it's not a problem. Alright, so we're going to hide Victoria, because the AoEs come in this turn, and the AoEs are very powerful from this boss. Uh, so Rosa is going to dual wipe his snow back up, and a heal. We're going to guard Breedus of the Earth. We don't need cover anymore, because there's no more AoE physical. Actually, Brutus of the Earth has been a defensive barrier. We're going to break again with Timothy. And Garnet is going to Life's Harmony. Okay, so here comes an AoE. <laughs> As you see, very painful. Alright, Rosa will do white full life on snow and a heal. Alright, Garnet's gonna go ahead and fill the Esper Gauge. Because we need we need another Esper for the last mission. Uh Vritus will incinerate and press. And we'll just go ahead and tangle trick again with Timothy. One more Esper Gauge for that mission. I don't want to have to waste Garnet's turn doing it. Uh, let's see here. Let's do white. Full life and a heal. Actually, it's fine. Garnet can pray right here. It doesn't matter. Uh, we'll guard Timothy and we'll... Defensive barrier. Breeze of the Earth. Okay. Then we're going to get Victoria back in to start doing some damage again. Uh, let's see. So Rosa will do a white of full life. And some heals. Uh, let's incinerate and press. Okay, my evil tinkle trick. And we're just working the boss close to 30, but not below 30. Alright, so let's see. That's good enough. We're gonna kill him next. We're gonna kill him soon. All right. So an AOE is coming this turn. So we gotta hide our important people, <laughs> which means Victoria. Uh, so Rosa will dual white. Full life on snow and a heal. Timothy will break the boss. Uh, Brutus will defensive barrier. And Garnet will. I guess just cradle the horns. Not much for her to do. Alright, so we're going to get ready for the kill. Not quite yet, though. We need one more turn of setup. Alright, so Rosa will dual white a full life and a heal. 
incinerating press with Brutus of the Earth. Uh, Victoria is going to magical activate. That's going to boost her magic quite a bit for the next attack. And Timothy is going to imperil wind. Now this is very important, you imperil wind, because if you don't imperil wind, Tornado will not hurt the boss and you won't build a chain for you. And we're going to be using Tornadoes to um, build a chain really soon. All right, so let's double check if the boss is still broken with Timothy's Limit Burst. It is. He's in peril of the wind. He's got a permanent fire in peril. So, for this, we're going to... Um, let's see. Bring her in. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. Uh, our Tornado Chainers. Oh, we need our actual damage dealer. And Garnet. Yeah, this is it. Alright, so we're going to dual cast Tornado to build a chain. Uh, dual cast Tornado. Victoria is going to dual cast Fireagia. Rydia is going to Mega Flare and that, and we just hit everyone and go. There it is! All missions! Maybe we skip that 30% threshold because Pike gets a lot harder below 30% and we don't want to deal with that. So yeah, so you cap, so you double, um, you build a tornado chain, you cap it with double fire rage, you're powered up by magical activation, and bayman at the end for the mission finish. There it is, guys! Budget team for Brachium All Missions. I will see y'all next time.